consequence for our sin is that we deserve to be separated from God. When we die, we deserve a place called hell. And hell is a real place. It's hot. It's fiery. But the worst part about hell is not that it's hot and that it's fiery. The worst part about hell is that we're separated from God forever. The punishment for our sin is that we deserve to be separated from God. But God loves us so much. The rest of Romans 6.23, it says, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. See, God loves us so much. That's right. God loves us so much. He sent his only son, Jesus, to die on the cross for our sins. God sent his only son. And Jesus willingly gave his life, hung on a cross, and died. They took him off the cross, buried him, put him in a tomb, but he didn't stay dead. Because three days later, Jesus rose from the dead. He's alive now, and we can serve a risen king. But when Jesus died... And when he rose again, he defeated sin, he defeated death, and he made a way for us to be forgiven of our sins. And I want you to know something, boys and girls. The only way, moms and dads, that we can be forgiven of our sins is if we ask Jesus to forgive us. And if we do, he'll do it. The only way we can get to heaven, the only way that we can spend eternity with God our Father, the only way we can have a right relationship with him is through Jesus Christ. Jesus made a way. We'll ask Jesus to forgive us of our sins. He'll do it. But here at Kids Blitz, when you break the rules, <laughs> you got to pay the consequences yourself. So Jonathan, step up. Portia, step up. I've been talking about safety all night long, and so we have some safety goggles, but they're for me. <laughs> and so are the safety gloves. And I need all of you to repeat after me. Miss Portia. Mr. Jonathan, Mr. Jonathan, this is nothing personal, this is nothing personal. because we love you, but as we all know, if you don't follow the rules, there will be consequences, and as our parents have told us, is going to hurt me <laughs> more than it's going to hurt you. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> right here, Jonathan. Right here, Portia. Look straight ahead. Close your eyes. Close your mouth. Do not breathe. <laughs> okay, here we go. On the count of three. One, two, three. Now maybe they'll follow the rules from now on. Let's give Portia and Jonathan a round of applause. Let's give Pastor Marcus and Mr. James a round of applause. Get your paper towel. Get your paper towel. I need another volunteer. Let's see. I'm looking for a certain size. Have you played yet? Okay, come right here. Antoine. Ladder, she goes in the harness. Uh, I need another volunteer. Right there in the brown shirt. You just turned around to look and see everybody else, but you have one. Okay. Okay, come on down. Come right here. He, he, he gets in the harness. I need somebody a little taller. I'm looking for a female, a little taller. Female, that would be a girl. Uh, how old are you? 15? 13? You're about to be 14. Okay, come on. Good Lord, you tall. You're only 13. I'm for real. you for real. You're 13. I want to be her agent for basketball. Lock her in the cage. I need a boy. How old are you? How old? 14, come on down. Lock him in the cage. I need another volunteer. Let's see, I'm going to get to the back. 
Try to get all the way back here to the back. Little girl right there with the white shirt on, pink, pink skirt. Come on down. And then I'm going to walk around this way, and I need another volunteer. Later. I'm going to get later for the last game. Right there. Come on. Lay down like you're flying. Perfect. Just like that. Okay. Excuse me. What's your name? What? Devontae, how you doing? You're 14. You okay in there? Okay, good, because we're going to let you out in the morning, okay? Now, um, hold on. You're 14? I have a 15-year-old son and a 17-year-old son. You behaving yourself? We're going to leave you in there for a week, okay? I'm kidding. We got him over there. What's your name? Taylor. Taylor? Taylor. Kaylin. My daughter's 13 and her name is Taylor, so I thought, but Kaylin. Wow, you're tall. Now listen. In just a second, Kaylin and Devontae, we're going to pull something out of the back of the cage, and when we do, all of that stuff is going to fall down on your head. But listen, you're going to have to duck <laughs> so that you don't get hit in the head. But the first thing you're going to have to do is pick up the t-shirt that's in the bottom of the cage and put it on over your own clothes, okay? Once you get the t-shirt on, you're going to take these yellow knots. These are considered junk, okay? You're going to take the junk, throw it up, over, and out of the cage. So just throw it up, over, and out of the cage. What's your name? Jordan. What's your name? Jordan. Jordan. And what's your name? Kanaya. Kanaya. They're going to try to catch the knots with their boxing gloves. If they don't catch them, they'll pick them up and bring them right over here to where we have, what's your Anaya. name? What's your name? Anaya. Anaya. So we have Kanaya and Anaya. Okay. And what's your name? Messiah. What? Messiah. Messiah. 